midweek manna on this August the 30th, 2023. This will be our last week on James. And so this morning, I want to talk about uh, needs versus wants. You know, James talks about the fact that God uh, gives us everything that we need. And sometimes we don't understand that what we need might not be what somebody else's need. And we look at other people and we see that they have things that we want and things that we think we need. But there's a difference between needs and wants. Wants is, you know, I, I want a new car or I, I want a new house, something like that. A need is I need gas for my car. I need uh, food for my table. Those kind of things. Those are needs. And sometimes God does give us the desires of our heart. But I want to make sure you understand that God will give you everything you need to live. Take a moment and think about that. Look at all the things you have right now. And do you have everything you need? You might not have everything you want, but do you have everything that you need in this moment in time in your life? I hope the response to that is that yes. You have everything that you need in order to live. You see, we have to be content with what God has already given us. And understand, sometimes what we need might not be good for us. And sometimes the wants we have in our lives might not be good for us either. And God has a way of, of working things out so that everything works out for our good. So that the things that we have in our life that are not good for us, that we don't need, there's a way that maybe it will be moved out of our lives. James has this to say about it. James 4, verses 1 through 3. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from the cravings that are at war within you? You want something, do not have it. So you commit murder, and you covet something, and cannot obtain it. So you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly. In order to spend what you get on your face. See, sometimes we fight over things. And we don't have to fight over things because we are a beloved child of God. You are a beloved child of God. And because of that, God will always give you what you need. You never have a second guess that. So thank you for spending this little bit of time with me uh, on the AM edition of Midweek Manna. This evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will have our next and last, sorry, uh, portion on the book of James. Take care and have a great day, morning, evening, night, overnight, whenever you look at this message.